G'day YouTubers, Pirate Pete here coming from a stinking hot Tuesday afternoon here in Sydney. Don't ask me how hot it was because my brain melted. Um, that's how hot it was. So in today's video I've got a, a pickup from eBay. Although it looks like a box of screws. It's actually just a private seller offloading a bit of their collection. So I did a bit of shopping over the weekend. I'm not really sure actually what's in this package because I bought from a few different auctions and I think that's I think that's everything there. So that's right, I picked up a a 1990 kookaburra. Hang on, let me try and get that in focus. So 1990 Kookaburra Bullion. This one went for about, I think, about half the price I've paid for my other ones. So I was happy to collect that one there. Plus um, from this one buyer, he had three, three different auctions. I wanted to reduce the average uh, cost of the shipping. So I then went a little bit harder on a couple of proofs that he was auctioning off. So that's a 96, um, obviously a kookaburra. I think it's a two ounce coin. Let me just check. <clears throat> yeah, that was a two ounce. Ninety six proof coin with a a privy mark. I'm not sure how to pronounce how to pr pronounce that spade guinea. Don't know what that is really. I might have to Google that. But that's good because I didn't have that coin before. And I think there was one more proof. That was a two ounce 93 proof. So I don't know if you if you caught a, a video yesterday, I think it was from Silver Slacker. He did a, a I thought a pretty cool video talking about exit strategies and uh, I guess basically he was just saying to reiterate if I don't do what he said so well an injustice um, he said to um, sort of take in mind how you plan on offloading your silver and letting that dictate what you buy and from whom so for example these ones here which are more collectible um, there's no point trying to offload them to your local coin shops or dealers because you're likely just to get a bullion spot price for them. Um, you wouldn't get any uh, numismatic value out of that so therefore you're pretty much limited to offloading them to other collectors when it does come time to sell and I mean it just depends on what access to other collectors you have but for me that kind of means eBay I don't really have too many other choices and that sort of for a newbie like me comes up as one of my uh, lessons learnt uh, where originally I thought I wasn't going to use eBay for buying. Um, weighing up how I'm going to sell coins um, at some point, especially the collectible ones, it kind of forces me to use eBay, which means I have to build up a profile on eBay with a trading history because who's going to sort of trust a new account with uh, zero uh, feedback scores. So if you are planning on buying up coins that are collectible and you want to sell them through eBay uh, at some time in the future um, it does sort of mean that you have to take the punt and buy um, on eBay to at least build up some kind of trading history and then um, build up your selling history on there as well so it looks like a long journey just to build up a bit of history on eBay to be able to sell successfully through that platform but I might do some 
lessons learned videos on eBay specifically in the future based on my own experiences. But at this point in time, I don't have any successful sales there. I've only got two um, listings at the moment just to test out the process. But uh, if it does move and uh, I learn something from it, I'll, I'll share that maybe in a future video. But um, um, I've got a few more items coming in, so I'll probably do another unboxing um, later this week when they do arrive. Um, but I'll catch you on the next video. So um, if you like this, share it. And uh, if you want to catch the future ones, just hit subscribe and uh, I'll catch you then. All right, cheers. Now, if you like this video and you'd like to see more just like it, why don't you show your support by joining the crew and we'll explore gold and silver together.